Hello Libra, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your April 2023 mini tarot reading. We're going to take a shuffle here and then I'm going to make a little announcement before we get started. So bear with me just a moment. Here we go Libra, what's coming up for April 2023? Got my piece of paper here. I'm going to be at Spirit Fest in Daytona, Florida, April 29th and 30th. I hope to be doing readings. I'm going to be doing readings there. So if you get a chance, stop by and say hello. Stop by and see me. The Spirit Fest events are awesome. I went to one in Punta Gorda last fall as just a visitor. I was very impressed with the professionalism. The readers there were great. The uh, vendors, fantastic. And I will be doing that one again. I hope I will be doing that as a participant or a vendor, I guess, doing readings in September, if all goes well. I will post that information down below for this month. And as we get closer to September, I'll do that one. And then last but not least, if you'd like a reading just about you, you can contact me via my uh, website, www.soulstarbliss.com or readings by Judy, J-U-D-I-E dot com. If it's not those two, it's not me. Somebody is pretending to be me asking for money and trying to get readings. I'm telling you, I don't ask you for money. I've never asked you for money and I will not. So if someone's doing that parading as me, it's not me. Now with that said, let's take a look and see what's coming up for you, my dear Libra friends. And a little shout out to Carolina, a friend of mine having a little difficulty. I hope things are good with you, my dear. Let's take a look here and see what is going on. There we go. Okay, wow. Hey, if you got anything legal going on right now, take care of it. It says you will win. There'll be a victory for you. It'll it'll work for you is what I'm getting. Not sure who that's for, but it's pretty clear. <clears throat> um, if you're having anything legal, make sure everything the court needs is there. And I think you're gonna be quite happy with the outcome. Is that for everyone? Don't know. I'm just, I have that message heavy on my heart. I had to say it. Here it looks like things are gonna start falling into place. It seems like someone's been trying to get something from you or somebody, some of you. And you know, it's stand up for yourself. I don't know what they're trying to take from you, but whatever it is, it's not theirs to take. So stand by what you believe in. <clears throat> Very quickly, things are gonna change. You're gonna need some rest. If you haven't been getting rest, you need to really take care of yourself so you don't get run down and get sick. Sometimes the tower card can be avoided, but sometimes it comes to clear the way. Remember that. Sometimes when the tower card comes, it just makes it like springtime for you. So if that's coming for you or it has arrived, you'll get through this. It's going to be like in a little apprenticeship for you possibly, and that's not for everybody. But here it says you're going to have a lot of people <laughs> um, like in business telling you what to do which, you know, you do whatever you feel is right, but it looks like, I feel like you might have the, the right idea and there, someone's trying to lead you down the wrong path or showing you false information. That's what I'm picking up here. So make sure you do what's necessary. And that feeling of being alone, don't let that make you give your power away. Okay, you're powerful, you're strong, you're, you know, you're very uh, good at getting things done. So make sure you get the, whatever I'm talking about or whoever I'm talking to here, make sure you get things done on time because that's time is going to be a factor in the outcome. <clears throat> you have a lot of spirit help around you, learning to stand up for yourself in a very positive way rather than being pushed around <laughs> and choosing things that aren't good for you. Make that change. Okay, you can, it's okay to put yourself first. Sometimes you have to and you're just very giving and, and give and give and give. And your intuition right now is so powerful. It's so good. It's going to help you achieve uh, greatness. Messages, very important. Real messages, ones you can read, whether it be in your real mailbox where the mail comes every day, or your email, your Gmail, your Instagram, your Twitter, all that kind of stuff. Just make sure you keep up on that, on the messages that are there. In relationship area, change is definitely coming. I'm not sure what that means. Is that for everybody? Probably not. But I do feel like change is coming specifically for you in that area. Um, wow. And it's a positive thing. I know it could be that the relationship you're in is going to change. You're going to be heard because I feel like, again, it, it's you give in. It seems like you you do whatever is necessary to keep peace and nobody's reciprocating. And I, is that for every Libra? Of course not. 
Um, but I'm just saying, if that's happening for you, I believe there's going to be a change and it's going to come quickly. And your best course of action is to do preparedness in reverse. Look back over the year, two years, 20, 40 years, however long you've been together and see what's happening there because it's going to give you strength. But something's already in the works here. I don't know if you've taken steps to change something, but it's going to bring you um, joy. There, I see sun card for you, happiness. And it says, <clears throat> in the financial area, it seems like there's a little difficulty right now, but there's going to be a big improvement there. Don't know why, don't know how come, but it looks like if counsel is needed, whether that's a lawyer, a therapist, an accountant, two friends talking, it just looks like you're going to know what to do. Or you may have already started that. We can't go back and change the past. But I have the Five of Cups here, which to me, that's what it says. I can't go back and change the past. But I still have something to work with. This feeling of not knowing what to do is very trying. Okay, it's like all constant. Oh, what should I do? I don't know what to do. How am I going to fix this? You need to step back from those thoughts. You have, it says it's, you need to get a little more rest. Um, and how you do that, I don't know with everything that seems to be going on around you, but new opportunities are gonna present themselves. Someone of power with money is gonna help you. I don't, I don't know why. If you have a business, th there's something there that's gonna change that's gonna help you, but you're gonna be guided to make the right choices. So stop worrying about things do what you can because you can't you know you can't be everything to everybody so your best course of action is start with you and then move outward <clears throat> you know family can certainly come and then business but it should be you family then maybe business or even god family then business um, but it looks like this spring which is i believe now for you um or here in the states so it'd be the month that let's go with the month of april <laughs> or March, April, and May, new beginnings are definitely possible. Excuses are gone now. It says that you're not gonna look like a fool. Don't be fearful of that. Someone from the past um, you know, is really wanting to connect with you, and if that's possible, you may want to, but again, what I always suggest for a reconnection from the past is let them prove themselves. You know, people go away for a long time, they come back, they could be different. They could be better, they could be worse. So let time be the factor. If they stabbed you in the back before, are they? have they changed? Maybe they have, see what they have to say. But don't believe everything they say, let them prove what they're doing. That's been a theme again for today. Wheel of Fortune says things are definitely gonna get better, but most important here is the Ace of Cups, which says when your mind is filled with spirit, fills your body to overflowing. What you think about, you become. You got spirit help all around you. Don't, you're not alone. Remember that. When you pray, you're heard. Uh, is the answer always what you want? And everything comes in divine time. Remember that. It says you are definitely getting ready to, I want to say like sign some papers, whether that's, you know, for real or not. But it's like with yourself, you're going to say, okay, I'm done. I've had enough. I'm going to make my plans right now for me. So the next three weeks for you are going to be really interesting and you're going to have a lot of help there. So don't be afraid to ask for help from Spirit or in your prayers because it's right there for you. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. Thank you so much, Libra, for dropping by and we'll see you again next month.